And I told everybody when we rolled it out, I said, because we're coming into the summer, I was like, this is a three-month test. We're going to do this. And this is not something that I'm going to give you. And then, you know, if I take it away, I don't want to be being pissed off about this because basically I'm saying, you know, everybody's going to work about half as much as you're working now. And I'm still going to pay you the exact amount. I mean, in fact, we're paying you more because we're giving you the profit share. So it was a big sort of leap of faith, um, you know, for me. But really, um, and even, even, even today, I think, you know, is this a wrong move? Is it a right move? But the reality is you're managing, like, uh, you know, people's energy is really what you're, what you're paying them for and in the knowledge world. I mean, there's certain jobs where if you're a policeman, you, they've got, that's got to be, you know, man, 24 hours a day, a store clerk or something like that. So there's a lot of jobs that is actually you're being paid there to be there for a certain amount of time. But in, you know, and especially as America, you know, evolves more and more into this sort of knowledge worker society, what you're doing is you're paying them for their creativity. You're paying them, you know, $40,000 a year for their brain for a year. You know, stuff they're dreaming about at night, you know, uh, emails they're fielding on their cell phone at, you know, 10 o'clock at night, you know, after their kids have gone to bed. Um, you're still getting that same, you know, 24-hour brain, but it, you know, salary is based on this sort of eight-hour workday. So we just think there's a, there's a better way to do that. And so far, it's, it's, it's really worked well.